hello guys welcome back to my channel this is lillian space today we'll be talking about ike ekweramado the former senate president and his wife beatrice ekweramado you all know that they have been arrested in uk and their case have been going on for some time now but they haven't been charged but today they have been found guilty of human trafficking and conspiring with their doctor Dr. Obina Obete and their daughter. According to the 21-year-old boy who is a trader in Lagos, said that they asked him to come with them to UK for a better life, that they are trying to help him to have a better life. That was what they said to him. That's why he agreed to follow them. But unknowing to him that it was all about human trafficking. So he had to allow the doctor who was supposed to carry out the transplant, the kidney transplant, and that's how they reported the case to higher authorities. And then Ike Kolemado and his wife were arrested in UK. Not only that, they were caught with some huge amount of money while traveling and they were arrested at the airport. I feel very bad for the doctor who is going through a lot, who is having kidney problem, but you all know that this man has been on seat for a very long time and he had every opportunity to to have a good hospital for poor masses, but he did not. Now his daughter, you know one funny thing about this politics is that they tend to forget that God is not human, that God has other ways of punishing them, even if they have all the whole money that they, they can have in this world, that God can still make them, they will still need the help of a poor mass, of the poor mass. So the poor mass are the ones that they do take advantage of when in time of need. Imagine all the money this man had. He still had to be in line in order, whether he is a poor man, because outside the country, whenever all these uh, organ transplants, you have to queue in line because there are some people who even need it more than you. So if you can't wait, some people, if they can't wait, they look for a love, a, a, a loved one who can exchange organ with them, who can give them organ. But if you, if you, if it doesn't reach your turn, my dear, your own, your own, your own, no, but it's a tongue by tongue case. So uh, you can imagine with all the whole money he had, his money could not buy his daughter kidney at the time she needed it the most. So you see, that's why they say vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. Most of these are politicians. They derive joy in oppressing the poor masses. They derive joy thinking that everything, they will never die. But unfortunately, God is not human. God is not man. So whenever they, God has a way, if you are a good leader, if God gives you an opportunity to lead a group of, of, of people, Take that as you're doing the work of God. Don't suppress anybody. Work as if you're working for yourself. Because I believe that if these politicians, they used to build houses, they used to build um, industries, they used to build um, um, hospitals, good roads, so many things won't be happening. There was security. If there were security, so many people won't be dying anyhow. The hospitals, there is no good doctors working there. So why wouldn't they, they, the only thing is that whenever they are sick, they fly abroad, they go to people's home, they go to other people's country, thinking that, okay, what if they are in their own house and they begin to have a um, um, crisis or any of their child begin to have crisis, which time will they have to fly themselves to those countries to go and treat themselves. This is the reason why they need to reason, why our politicians need to reason that anything could also happen to their own. But they seem to forget that even as they didn't build it for the poor masses, still it could also affect them. That's one thing that they don't, they don't realize until when it's too late. Okay, look at this man now. This man, had it been since he became a Senate president, that he has been doing good work, God could have mercy upon him and his child won't even go through this or even if his child is going through this god has a way of doing miracles in people's life it could be that someone from nowhere could come and donate that kidney in as in without any stress without even any money getting involved but you can see what you he had all these years to himself he has been enjoying nobody knows about his family he has been his children has just because of this single act of kidney transplant that was how this man 
his whole family is upside down till today. Now he will spend him, not even only him. There is a difference that his wife is not even involved. This one is both him, the wife, and even the girl, the daughter who is in, who has not even gotten herself, is also an accomplice to all of this. So this man is going to see, like all the years he has been enjoying, he's going to see all of them reflect back on all of them why he's in the prison and this is one thing our, all our politicians need to learn from this they need to build their home as if they were abroad because if this girl was in nigeria now and all these things are happening i believe someone can willingly if this man has been doing good to people i believe somebody willingly will just donate that kidney without him going through all of this is the wickedness of man that has put him into this is the things he has done while he, he was in politics that God is actually paying him back for everything. They think that the, these politicians think that they can, they can soy, they can destroy their own country. They can destroy the poor masses and then go away and act as if nothing has happened. I hope that other politicians could learn from this. So thank you guys very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Leave your comment section and tell me what you think on this video. Whether he deserved everything that is happening to him or whether the boy was actually lying against him. Thank